This is James Robertson of Syncom Systems. A question we get asked a lot about Syncom Smalltalk non-commercial is what next? Meaning, I've downloaded it from your website, I've got it installed, but what do I do now? I've got it started, I have no idea how to start. Well, a couple of things. We mentioned right here in the introductory workspace, if you scroll down just a bit, the website, and if you browse there, you'll find that it'll take you directly to our Smalltalk website, and the thing I'd suggest you look at first is right here, Smalltalk Daily Screencasts. And here we have a bunch of introductory stuff. If you go to Basic Introduction, for instance, it'll walk you through some flash-based packages that'll tell you how do I do things, what do I do first, and that's a very step-by-step -step kind of introduction. Another thing you can do, though, is if you go to the workspace down here and skip over to this introduction page over here, scroll down a bit. The first part just explains Smalltalk syntax, but if you keep going, and I'll scroll down here a bit. You'll find explanations and something interesting. Here's some code, and this is a string, and this is a message being sent to it. And one of the really cool things about Smalltalk is in a workspace, I can just bring up the menu and do a print it. And it'll execute the code for me and put the answer right there next to it. Or it'll put a string representation of the object next to it. I could also have highlighted this and done an inspect it to see what kind of object will come back. And I then get an inspector where I can look at the text itself, the elements, meaning the individual letters. I can go to the method pane and look at the code for class byte string. And I can look at the inheritance tree and notice that it descends from string and ultimately from object. So I can look pretty much anywhere I care to. Now I'm not going to go into too much depth about all of that right now. But one of the things I'd suggest you do to learn about Smalltalk when you first download it is walk through this introduction, execute the messages, read the text, follow along with what it's telling you, and you'll get a far better feel for how things work in the system. And that's pretty much what I wanted to cover in this brief introduction. Again, if you have further questions, head on over to the website, and that's syncomsmalltalk.com right there and it'll take you here. You can go to the Smalltalk Daily Screencasts or any of the other things that are on our site, including the videos, basic information on the product, our podcasts, and of course the Syncom Smalltalk blogs.